one of these before. What will it mean for the state of play, the confidence in the country, Biden's legacy? Um, we'll see, right? But in terms of what it means for the race in the state of play, that we can talk about right now. News Nation political editor, host of The Hill Sunday, Chris Steyerwald, and News Nation anchor at large, Geraldo Rivera. Uh, Chris Steyerwald, <laughs> um, let's move, let's move past, let's move past Biden. He did what he did. You can feel whatever way you want uh, about how he delivered that. Where does this leave Harris and the Democrats at this point? Well, what we don't know, because we've never had it before, is how does the relationship in governing and campaigning and public presence work uh, with a sort of president emeritus and Kamala Harris? In 1968, you know, you, you very astutely have framed this around what Lyndon Johnson did in March of 1968. But the situation here is different. Johnson set things up for Hubert Humphrey, but friction emerged between the two of them as the summer went along, and Humphrey d uh, split with Johnson on the question of Vietnam. As a matter of fact, we now know that Johnson actually uh, communicated with Richard Nixon and was helping Richard Nixon uh, against his own vice president. How does the president govern and appear to govern with his former running mate and vice president in the top slot. Do we see more of Joe Biden? Do we see less of Joe Biden? Is there friction between the two of them? There's a, th this is a real complicated kettle of fish uh, that they've brewed up for themselves here. You know, Geraldo, um, I think it's interesting that while the right is obviously desperate to find lots of mud for Harris, they're not using what's most available to them is, which is, can you believe what she did to Biden? Now, I'm not saying that's fair. I'm not saying that Harris had anything to do with this, but that's the best shot. Can you believe that she threw Biden under the bus like this and the party went along with it? The Democrats are terrible. I'm surprised they haven't said that yet. Well, I think that that would be an effective way to get at the Democrats. However, Trump has given so much red meat, Chris, calling a uh, uh, Kamala Harris, first of all, Kamala, mispronouncing it intentionally, calling her a radical left lunatic. I mean, he came out today as a total bully, uh, swinging, uh, you know, crazy. It's been, uh, this has been a, 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 the most remarkable run of uh, events, uh, you know, beginning with uh, uh, Trump being uh, almost killed uh, right before our very eyes. And then a couple of days mm -hmm. later, the hero's welcome at the RNC and then Biden quitting. And now Kamala uh, being nominated by acclamation, I don't, I don't find any fault with uh, uh, the fact that the Democrats have been, uh, you know, uh, ebullient in their their praise and embrace of uh, of the vice president. I, I uh, you know, a process would be a formality. I understand that you want it, but I don't want to lose sight of, uh, of of Biden because the pathos and the and the, and the humanity and the humility of that man, the brave and proud and so fragile. Uh, you know, he wasn't run out. Uh, he was he was collapsing before our very eyes. Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, Father Time has been very cruel uh, to Joe Biden, and it's come on in a in a in a, a train wreck. It's it's been so fast. He's deteriorated before our eyes. I I don't think. Well, Chris, when you say that, uh, you know, how are they going to balance this? I don't think there's going to be any problem. I think Biden's going to be very uh, low-key, understated, doing his job from behind the Resolute desk or any other desk he wants to sit in the in, in the White House. Uh, you know, and Kamala will be out there saying, uh, you pronounce my name by the emphasis on the first syllable. Chris. <laughs> I know. Look, the name stuff, you know, Geraldo uses the word uh, pathos, and it's the exact right word, you know, that uh, he evokes a sympathy, a pity. And you juxtapose it with one of its most uh, common applications in English, which is pathetic, which is why I was laughing when he was describing what we're seeing from the Republicans. It's such an obvious, it's not a dog whistle, it's a bullhorn. How do you talk about scaring people about a black female candidate without saying it's because she's a black female candidate? And I just hope it's as cheap and obvious to the American electorate, because whether you want Harris as president or not, it shouldn't be on the basis of what they're talking about right now. Now, there is a... Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com.
and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.